Hi, this is Tisha Unarmed, here to answer all your questions about not having arms. And as you can see, I don't have any arms. Today, we're going to be making a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. But first, there are a couple of things that you need to know about not having arms. Number one, you got to be really patient because chances are it's going to take you ten times as long to do anything with your feet than it would for someone with arms. Number two, you have to be flexible. Reaching anything over your waist is going to be a challenge, so you better do some stretches or yoga before you start your task. Let's get started. First, you got to gather up all of your materials. We'll start with our plate. You want to get a good running start. Jumping on the counter is the best way to get my plate. We'll open the drawer to get our spoon. I use my chin to carry my plate. Next, we'll grab the peanut butter. Next, I'll get the jelly. I use my nubs inside the handle of the refrigerator and pull to open the door. I keep my grape jelly inside the door so it's easier for me to get to. Sanitation is key when using your feet because there are lots of germs on the floor. will begin. a spoon to make my peanut butter and jelly sandwiches because a knife is just too dangerous. Get a big glob of peanut butter and I'll spread it on my bread.
the squeeze peanut. I like to use the squeeze jelly because it just seems easier to use. two pieces together. And that's how you make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Thanks for watching!